Welcome to the Big Rig Podcast. This is Ben Cousins. Yeah. Welcome you. to the Big Rig Podcast, episode seven. Oh, it's been a Jeez, it's taken a while. It's taken a bit too long, to be honest. Um, We're really slacking. Yeah. Shout outs to Malachi Prowse for, you know, getting the engine burning again. I really, I wasn't thinking about making another podcast for the rest of this year, to be honest. Um, Jesus Christ. Which was probably to the demise of many people. Many. They wouldn't have loved that. Um, real quick, welcome back, my co-host, Matthew. Always a pleasure. Thanks for having me on again. Got to say, I love that uh, Mark Rusciuto poster in the background there. The big white creepily. Three hundo. Whoa. Don't get much better than that. Nothing really does it. Sorry, Casey, what's been going on? Oh, absolutely jack shit, mate. All right, I'm just going to start off where all great stories start off. I dropped out of high school. Uh, many people will be surprised by that. Uh, <laughs> look, basically got told you're failing, which I knew I was. Not ideal. It's not ideal. Um, I knew I was failing, um, they said to me, basically, either turn it around or just, you know, drop out now uh-huh. or maybe, like, come back next year for year 13, which I'm like, that sounds good. That's- why does that sound good, Case? What makes it sound so inviting? <laughs> well, I'm, like, one of the youngest ones in year 12, so I thought maybe, uh, you know, maybe I could be with people my own age for once in a, in a high school which would be pretty cool, Steady. you know. Yeah. And, uh, a lot of those blokes are legends, to be honest. Um, Danny Vaughan. Danny Vaughan, absolute king. He dropped out, though. Did he? Ages ago, man. I didn't even know. Heck. Shout out to Danny Vaughan. Um, gone but not forgotten. Awesome. Um, so I've been, I've been working at the, the vineyard winery, whatever you want to call it, Ballycroft Vineyards. Absolutely great wines, you know. I've been, I've been told I, I can't drink them, but I've been told they're really, really good. And if you've got a spare really weekend, stuck down stuff. there. Expensive, yeah. Well, it's because it's top quality. Share it, Joe Evans. Um, pays me wages. But yeah, just okay, be thanks. doing vineyard work. Like, well, it's really the only job you can really get around here, to be honest. <laughs> Bigger the yeah, not a whole lot of, yeah. They had to wash trucks. Yeah. Oh, we haven't washed trucks for ages, man. It's been a minute. We're going to call big Stevie Loffler so at uh, Loffler Auto Repairs. Shared out there as well. Get your trucks fixed for them or some shit. I don't know. Uh, since, since last time I talked, footy's finished. And that, footy has finished. Look, we got through first semi final, smash them. Beautifully uh, against South Gawler. Last week. Tommy kicked a bunch. I kicked a few pearls. As you can say, Matt, how was that? Yeah. How good was it? Beautiful. It was quite good. Goal the of the talk of the town every weekend. I went yeah. out for a while there. Couldn't go out without hearing it, you know. It for... <laughs> I it's just love it. Mate. Oh. And mate, I've got to say, that got me on a few people's radars that we'll get into later. Bloody earth. That's why. A few potential opportunities. Matt, what was your weekend looking like during the end of that footy season after you retired? Uh, as some people may know, I did. Figured I was like, had enough of this. Walked out on the club. Mm. Did the manly thing. Sorry, yeah, Benny mate. Giles, by the way. Yeah, oh. Look, Benny Giles is just a top, top person, top lead. Class bloke. Absolute classy bloke. Love him. And lo- love the kids too. Fucking Tommy, Luke, all good blokes. Last time you said that. Huh? Huh? Uh, <laughs> we were, that's a grey area, if you want to call that back the other. A black area. <laughs> so yeah, dropped there. Well, retired, I mean, not dropped out. Yep. Um, yeah, retired from the old footy scene and then, yeah, just spent the weekend to watch their first final. Class win. Yeah. I think I went for the next one. 
Was there any feelings know. involved in watching that first semi? Like, you'd want to be out there. Was there anything like that? Not really. I was just glad to see the boys. Who didn't get to have as much of the crack all year, getting stuck and giving it a run. That's classy. Man. That is pure class on your end. You know, nothing selfish there. Exactly. It's good stuff. And, uh, um, could I ask what was the driving motivating factor? factor? Yeah. Just those lockdowns, just lost motivation. Like, there's no point me going out there every weekend unmotivated, not being able to supply the team with my usual run and ground. I always never had. <laughs> and then, yeah. I, I can tell you That's many people cool. felt like that, Matt. I can tell you those lockdowns hit hard for everyone. Oh, it's getting a bit emotional. Yeah. Um, <laughs> not naming names, but something happened in that lockdown. Uh, Eek. Uh, <laughs> on to the next on to bigger the next. and brighter things that's it I think we said that in the last episode too uh, I think we've got something else we can show on oh what's he showing us here we did come runners up in the old Barossa Valley Basketball Association B grade men's grand final uh, we'll, we'll dive right into then uh, hey, uh, I decided to play basketball this year you know thinking Maybe I could be the next Kobe Bryant. Sadly, it wasn't to be. Uh, <laughs> we nearly went all the way. We were wrong. We almost. We got to the Grandy against Kai Dunny's lads. Um, it got close. A, a timeout right at the end when we we got told we couldn't call timeouts was uh, a bit surprising and ended up driving a few, few seconds off the clock. Miracles. Yeah, we needed those a uh, few seconds as well, which a bit dodgy by those guys, to be honest, but. Right. Living your land. You do. Um, yeah, so <laughs> big night at Alva's that night. <laughs> you night. A few lemonades, a few Coca Cola's. Yeah. Bit of a sugar high. Bit of a sugar high. Yeah. A few games of the old eight ball. Yeah, oh, some competitive eight ball. I'll tell you what, Matt, it, if looks like, fuck, if looks could tell you, he doesn't look like much of a sports person. But get him on the fucking pool table and he'll Ripping. come up. Occasionally. Got to get you down to Granock sometime, mate. That is a competitive scene with the pool table. Yeah, it's always competitive at the pubs now. Mm. Yeah, I know. Um, big Brucey, Bruce's kitchen. He, uh, he brings his, along his own uh, pool cue. Fucking sure tides it up Hello. himself. Are you serious, mate? Never take him on. Never. Big David Gurn as well. Oh, he's pretty furious in pool scene. A few characters here, you know him. Hmm. Yeah, it's been the hour. Um What about your nose operation? Run him through it. Oh yeah, well look, last year got a nose op. I uh, decided didn't want to heal properly and well couldn't breathe out the left side of my nose. A year. And uh Finally got that call back by the Women's and Children's. Went in. Oh, bloody hell. I was nervous, down. mate. Oh, I got in there. Nurse couldn't yep. even measure me. I had to measure myself. Bloody tipped out at 199 centimetres, which I don't believe, to be honest. Yeah, I don't neither. think that's truthful. Uh, We're which would make me six foot eight, but I don't think I am. Um, really? <laughs> but we'll, we'll write it down um, for the trade period. <laughs> If I'm six foot eight, I'm six foot eight, aren't I? Um, <laughs> that's always an advantage. Just have to wear some extra big insoles in my shoes. It'll be right. Uh, so, I... so yeah, got, went in there, drifted off sleep, wake up, bloody nose. Breathe again. It hurt a little bit. I could actually fucking breathe. It was crazy. Been on crazy. the bags just the boat or what? Oh, mate, I was thinking about it. They've got me on some fucking pretty high-level drugs, mate. Oh, fucking, I'll tell you what. But, nah, no nosebees yet. That's in the future. Or at all, because we, as the big rigs, do not condone taking drugs. Is condone like good or bad? We don't condone. Condone is... No, nah, we, we condone. Don't condone is... Nah, do drugs, oh, okay. kids. Do as much as you can. Um Heck. <laughs> Do as much snow Jeez, wrong, as you're willing to do. 
Make a snow angel if you fucking want to. <laughs> Who am I to Joey tell Brown's going to love this bit, isn't he? Oh, let's hope Joey Brown doesn't listen in. Um, trade rumors. Joey Brown. Trade Quality. rumors. Oh, oh, trade rumors. Good. Trade rumors. Okay, come. Yes. <laughs> Kevin Durant trade, trade rumors. Room. All right. Kevin Durant trade rumors. Yep. Trade rumors. Joseph Brown was questioned by the, the Grand Ops Lungers. He's declined the offers. He declined. He declined. Joey, Joey, on, man. Joey what's going on here, mate? Um, look, there might be a few messages to Darcy now, see if she can get in our A-grade spot, because I was watching that women's team, and they're trying to it's get smashed by you. Young girls. Um, what I noticed in the women's cricket is a little hot take. Elise Perry got retired on 66. They were down by 150 and they they declared. That's to keep her average up. That's kind of slimy if you're going to ask me. That's fucking... That's... That is very slimy. That's unheard that's of. Like, that. That's slimy. Taking care of her own slimy. average. Look, some people. Some people, eh? Hey? Like, who would do that? Who would deliberately not get out and waste the team's time? Just to protect yeah. the average and get trophies. Yeah. Fuck. Who would? Who, who would do that? Some do people. That. The nerves. The nerves of some people. I'll tell you what, Matthew. Um, Most of the sort of people I lose respect for. It is. Okay. It's just whiny. Yeah, Matt. Da, 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 yeah, da, da, da. Gonna get right in. Footy. How to end off. Yeah, I did it in real fuck. That was a war. Wait, which footy? Ours or the... The senior AFL? cults, mate. The senior cult. Senior fuck, cult. who won? Broster. Yes. Yes. Against who? Broster. Fuck, was it Willow? Good. Oh, there you your, go. Yeah. This is your segment, mate. Go on. Broster's has been lucky enough to take out the top chockies against Willow. Big Bevo across his team. And yeah. Just a class performance. So it was a good game all around. A few hairy moments there. And I was like, what was that? That's a good game to watch. The, any words in the semi final? No. No. Pretty sure Casey Fowler played it. a cracking game. Yeah, you can go for it. I'll speak Give about it. it. Hey, uh, Casey had a chance to kick the first goal of the game and uh, kicked it off the side of the boot out of bounds on the full. Uh, <laughs> Sometimes, you know, you just got to take what you can get. Uh, was on Big Ranger fella in the middle. He's actually pretty quality. He doesn't look very athletic, but he is. Uh, yeah, really, we got beaten with the link-up handball by the Bros guys. They just ended up handballing it out the back of the pack and having a runner around. Usually it was uh, um, geez, uh, number 14. I forgot his name, but he runs around the back and just bombs it long. And they would just yeah. get a mark in Ford 50. And we couldn't do that. You know, we had Tommy in our Ford 50 and he was just crossed up the whole game. Uh, we couldn't get anything. Uh, I ended up snagging a goal just from 20 out though, straight in front. So not too hard. But yeah, went down by three goals in the end. Valiant effort, Tigers. What a year. I'd I didn't say always next year, but. Nah, I, there's not for me. I'm, I'm too old. Yeah. On to Casey's next story. The old, there's a heard rumors. There's oh, trade rumors. Do you want me to let you know if the trade rumors are wrong? I would love to know if it's Look, I am exploring what's some. Happening. I'm exploring some uh, pay roles out in a different footy league. Uh, and look, it's just. How's it going for you? Mm. I've been asked to come out to a pre-season training and uh, test my worth. An unnamed guys. club. Unnamed club at the moment, but I'm definitely exploring my opportunities. If something in this league presents itself with a a higher offer, I will definitely um, consider it. But yeah, just yeah. looking for somewhere to play and be with some great blokes and play my best footy though I can. Inspirational. And look, whether that be, you know, Tigers telling me, oh, 
guaranteed spot in the bees, mate, then I'll stay. But I want to play footy as much as I can. And I don't think I can do it in the Barossa League, to be honest. Yeah, been for sure in trade rooms too, or trade options. Yes, okay. True or false, I've heard that none of the magpies are looking to swap you for In a bit of dosh and a peak. Uh, maybe no dosh, but I would be a bloody good Barbie boy after the games there. That is Keeping true. Snags, flags. That is true. I have been exploring options, but until December, uh, November rolls around, we'll see what happens. Might transfer, might not. And look, I know what the audience is thinking right now. Look at these flogs, unloyal. But bloody hell, we've played all our juniors at Neary and we're just looking for something different. Oh, I'm saying a few years, I'll definitely come back. You know, I'll come back to Roos. You know, let, let, uh, let Roos is home to Roos. But, you know, whether my future be lying in Riverland or in, um, out in, uh, Borough around there. I don't know what it's called. Plains, Out wherever the... Yeah. Some shit like that. You know, Mid-North or whatever. Um, yeah. Then I'll explore my... Chicago, is that that way for your case? Bloody hell, I love them. I'll tell you what, mate. A oh, few bush stuff sounds all right. Speaking of love, young Marky made of the old love doctor. What's, What's Marcus done? Big what? what has he done? I Marky, he wasn't too happy about the old Price uh, of Pirate Life chance there for formal, but he wasn't. He was not. And I heard that um, KFC is not being the destination for formal this year, which I'm bloody gutted for you guys. Um, the, really the, these women just, you know, they don't care what the majority speaks of, and well, they couldn't, they couldn't care dark, less bro. if you want a bit of kernel with your formal. They coun't care less, you know. Instead, they're going to make me sit at some fancy fucking some fancy winery office, yeah. where you, Joshy Brown said he uh, saw you drinking a few lemonades in the valley, Matthew. Is this true? This is true. Yes. Awesome, did have man. a good chat with young Joshua. Uh, what do you think what of that haircut? It's a bit, <laughs> it's a bit unorthodox, isn't it? He looks like one of the Beatles. He looks like a, like a Ringo star. I'd say he looks a bit more like Sid from our age, but oh. <laughs> 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 no, nah, love you, love you, Joshy. Uh, big fan of the show, Joshy is. Um, shout out to him with his teaching career, and uh, yeah, all the best, mate. Okay, Fuck. as everyone knows, I put something out on the Insta, asking for questions or things we should talk about for the podcast. Future Joshy, topics. Joshy Wimpress, how I can bench 100 kilograms in jeans. Can we get an adjudicator on this? Because 100 didn't look kilos like must 100. be a lot of jeans. It looked like 220s on each side, which is 80. But are you telling me the, the bar's 20 kilos by itself? I don't reckon it is, though. Normally, like 10, I reckon or, it's 15, 10 but... or 15. So he's benched about 90, 95, Joshy. So you can put a slack in another 2.5s on the album. He's Josh fucking Wimpress, man. He's built like a brick shit house. <laughs> uh, Colin well, and Hardy said Jesse about. Mason. I don't know who that is. I do know oh, that scandal, though. Yeah. Um, Danny Vaughan, footy trip. Benny. 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 Mate, he's just stuffing us around. He thinks we're going to do footy trip in the middle of fucking summer, mate, when everyone's playing cricket, cricket or basketball. Piece. Fuck off, Ben. Okay? You're lucky you get an invite at least. It's only because we're going to your fucking block, mate. Okay? As soon as we get there, we're duct, tying, duct taping you to a tree and fucking stealing all your motorbikes, mate. It's that easy. But... Some people. Expects us to go to footy trip in the middle of water polo, water polo season. Like, exactly, when water polo season, mate. I'll be at the country club riding horses and playing tennis. You love riding a few things, don't you, Matt? Shut up. <laughs> Couple of blokes on blokes. Get a bloke on bloke action, mate. Ooh, not a man to you, Adam, man. Speaking of Benny Crane. Benny Crane. Yeah. The old NFC. Fill us in. 
but mate, I'm not liable to talk about that. I've got no clue what you're on about. Uh, Roger. Yeah. yeah. No clue. Yeah. No clue. Still again. November 15th. Um, from all reports, but I've, I don't know what you're on about. Obviously, we don't know because, like, we're we not sure. What we're, talking. we're not sure. We don't know. We don't know. It's not hard. Um, what else was there? There's what else has been going on, eh? I love things. the fucking one. The BLCA. Oh, get ready. This is going to be what a season. BLCA. And all their wisdoms made a whole A1 grade, so no reserves anymore. So every team go up. Big case has got to spot the ones. Whew. Didn't think I would, but I have. Um, oh, my dad's the coach, so <laughs> it's kind of expected, isn't it? You hope so, eh? But it's going to be a ripper of the season, I reckon. Like, I just can't wait to get out there, strap on the bloody um, the pads. Pads. Yeah, I think I'm on for a time this year. Me too. Recent I form. Can you for a few net sessions soon. Yeah, we'll get you in the fives, Matty. All right? Get you feeling in a few games. No problemo. Joshy Brown would love you in there, mate. We're going to make him captain. Um, but if anybody's captain, it's me. Yeah, probably. Um, yeah, big, big moves. Um Granox looking dangerous, mate. Yeah, um, Schlong is. Schlong is. My brother's come back from district. Uh, look, we had a practice match the other day and he's bowling a few headhunters. Uh, but yeah, I'm sure it's within scary. good time you'll get it going. Uh, Benny Reinfeldt, just a jet. I can't speak highly all enough of all the players, to be honest. Um, two's looking Who's dangerous, too. Like... Chuck Wagon. Sorry? Said all just class bikes. They're all legends, and okay, little big rig. Sincerely, here we got a few injured. Um, that's out for the whole season. Danny Reinfeld. Who we got? Jeez, What's mate, he he just he's just unlucky with his injuries, isn't he? Well, uh, it was a prelim final, A grade. He's done his shoulder, and he's getting shoulder surgery soon. Not ideal, but we hope all goes well. He's gone all season, maybe some of footy season as well, which bloody hell, mate. You've had a bad run. I've always rated you, mate. I've always said you'd be an AFL player if um, you weren't injured all the time. But that's just me. Um, couldn't happen to a better bloke, to be honest. Jeez. Uh, Jaden Burchard uh, out with a <laughs> elbow reconstruction, I think it was. Another class bloke there that was in for a big season. He was making moves last year and was ready for a breakout season, but just not to be, which it, it does suck. It does. It's quite unfortunate. But that's like, mate, I thought my life was bad with being out for bloody the first game because of my nose, but compared to those Probably blokes. Look at it and they have it a lot tougher. Yeah, you can have perspective, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. It could um, always be worse. It could, it could. Uh, what else we got here? Marky Mater says, sex, cricket, love. I should get that uh, printed out. Well, the first out one's too much in a grey area. That is, um, it's been a grey area. But the, other two we can, the other two we can talk about. Cricket, cricket, Matt, are you playing this year? Oh, I might come out to the old schlungies for a few games in the fives. Yeah. Balls and pies. <laughs> Mate, some if you're pie chucking, you should be in the fours, not the fours. Oh, uh-huh. Shout out to the Paz there. Yeah, we'll take a few wickets on the old sped kids. There. I mean... And yeah, just stand there and try and hit the ball. <laughs> but I won't be running from wicket to wicket because that's too much work. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Look, it's about time we wrap it up. Year, we we'll go with a little yeah, big rig of the big rig of the episode. I guess we'll do now. What um, are we thinking? Maybe like a Danny Bourne. The talking Scotty on the other Award. Weekend. Yeah, right. Talking Scotty Awards for the big rig. Who shined? Who shined? Oh, I saw Danny Vaughan out the other night and just Danny. I haven't seen him in a while. All right, Danny. Danny Vaughan, big rig. Well done. 
on you, Danny. Love you, Danny. Uh, anyways, last play. this has been a Big Rig podcast. And uh, thank you for listening. Thanks, man, well. um, let us know who you'd like on next. You know, this is just a classic us two again. But we're ready to get in for some stronger people. And look, if it's any, like, some figures around, like, I don't know who's figure. Like, let's get Justin Westfroff on, mate. Like, let me put I reckon first two, we need young Stone Conley on. Just, Stone just Conley. Yeah. He's an icon around um, in the undermarket exhaust sort of <laughs> areas. But we'll, yeah. we'll get him on, eh? Okay, we'll get man. young Stone, eh? And Stone is the uh, let's have a little yeah, saying after each each one. Let your nuts hang. Bye. Let your nuts hang. Peace out.